Yo, what's up guys and girls, and welcome back to some more Puzzle and Dragon Z on the Nintendo 3DS. This is part 25, 26, 27, one of those three. I have no idea, I'm kind of like lost in um, what's going on, Pokemon Shuffle, blah -dee blah Where am I right now? I don't know, but anyway, we continue on from where we last left off. We are on the fifth continent, you may know. We just cleared the first dungeon, I believe. Um, I haven't played this in like two days, and I completely like forgot everything I did last. But yes, um, starting things off pretty much where we start every episode, and that's inside the Zeb Lab. We do have a few things which need hatching, then again, we'll probably will use those to boost the stats of some of our other monsters. But before we do that, there's one thing that needs to be done, and that is evolve a few new monsters. Now, these are monsters we've had for a long, long time, and do you know what? We definitely need to evolve something new in terms of a dark monster, so we're going to go straight ahead and do it with this Mystic Dark Knight. Now, this guy doesn't really... Uh, he just doesn't really does do it for me. He's got really, really low defense. Um, attacks kind of like average, health points are, are pretty decent, so I'm kind of like put off by this, but evolving it may make a significant change here, but we'll see, we'll see, we've collected these ships for a long long time now, so, I mean you've got to catch them all, so it's got to be done sooner or later, and here we are, oh god, why am I trying to play that piece over there, alright, simple jigsaw and I'm failing, but yes, the Mystic Dark Knight has evolved into a very rare, Black Wizard. Alright, kind of like the name of that. Kind of sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Black Wizard, you know, you had like the Dark Magician. Um, that's literally what I can think of on the top of my head. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Quickly check his stats one more time. He's now a 3 star. He was a 1 star. He's gone to a 3 star. Health points, mm, not bad, not bad, not bad. Attack is fairly okay. He's only level 30, remember. And he can go to a level maximum of 70. Defense is still below par or not really where I'd want it to be. But I guess a lot of um, the monsters I am currently using are kind of low in the defense as well. So. I guess it's probably better than some things we're using. I mean, my Fire Dragon here is pretty decent. So I'm, kind of, I'm pretty much like comparing everything <laughs> to that. But there's one other thing we could evolve. I mean, there's a couple things we can evolve, such as this Fire Type. This is a true Dragon Type, so it actually works very well with uh, this monster because he does have the ability to raise the attack of true Dragon Type monsters. So that they go very well together. I actually thought this was a, a Dark Type when I first saw it, but he's just colored dark, but he's a Fire Type. So kind of cool there. I like that combination. And um, we have this new Water Monster. He's got decent health points for a level 1. Attack's okay. Obviously, his attack's going to be his, his key um, stat there. Defense is really low, but I guess we'll evolve it anyway. He's a mutant type 1. He will go into an Abyss Guard level 3. I mean, we may as well do it. So, here we go. Alright, I didn't even plan to spend this much time inside the Zeb Lab. It's actually going to dive straight into uh, the next mission, but oh well. I mean, it's got to be done at some point, and I thought I may as well show you guys. So, I mean, this looks really cool. I mean, you look at it now. It kind of looks like the most useless monster ever, but now it just looks like a super beast. Very rare as well. He looks really cool, like a mermaid fighter. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Evolve. Well, moving on. Alright, so I guess we're just going to dive into the next mission now. Um, I believe it's like the second dungeon, fifth continent. I think, in, and it's also maybe like the last, maybe not like the last continent, because I think there's, there's definitely one more to come. I'm not really sure what it's going to provide for us. It may just be like Dogma waiting in his lair or something, but yeah, we'll see what happens once we get to that point. And yeah, second second dungeon, um, Tunnel of Fading Light, Mega Bubblies, Mega Baddies, so I believe it's Water, Zablion, that's two Waters, and the Mega Baddie, I can't remember if, if that's a Dark or... Or a fire. It's a four color dungeon. Uh, we want to avoid bringing, bringing dark with us. So I'm going to take two wood types. I'm pretty sure I've got like the right team sorted for this. Do you know what? This probably is a suitable team. We're just going to go with this team. Team 7. I just formed this not too long ago. We'll take the assistance of Maxi, boost those fire types because we've only got the one. So we may as well try and give ourselves a level playing field. But here we go. We're going to take the direct, direct path here if we can manage to make it there. Uh. Let's see. Alright, that definitely did not go to plan. I definitely screwed something up in the middle of that move. I mean, I had it planned out and then it just kind of like messed up. I must have hit the wrong one, but anyway. Alright, cool. Alright, 
Alright, a little slow start here, but I mean, we'll, we'll get into this. It's always that rustiness I always get when I take a couple of days off. But, um, let's see where we can go. I oh, will leave the fire there. It's kind of like a simple move, but I would think that would be enough. Nope, not enough. I'm putting too much faith into my monsters. But yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying E3 at the moment. Funny thing is, I'm actually recording this when E3 hasn't even started yet. So, um, I mean, by the time I upload this, it probably would have started. It may even be finished, but actually probably not finished. It'll be in the middle of uh, what's going on. But there's some, there's been some really cool stuff to uh, to um, expect, such as the new Metal Gear. I mean, we've seen footage of that, but it does look really promising. Apparently, there's 100, more than 100 hours gameplay in there, which is definitely a good thing. I mean, games these days are starting to last a lot longer, which is... In a sense, awesome. Sometimes I don't really do well when, um, when it comes to long games. I just really find it hard to focus and get through the whole thing. It'll usually take like a lot longer than it should. But even small games such as, um, like this, this is taking me a lot longer than it probably should as well. But I mean, the whole experience is fun. I'm not really the, the, the kind to rush through a game, but um, I do like to enjoy it. Um, sparingly over time, but yeah, I'm gonna try and get through this one as quickly as possible as I did mention before. Um, by the way, I play probably will take a long time, but um, yeah, let's see where we can go from here. All right, cool. We've made like some oh, some very really ordinary attacks here. I mean, the combo not the combo, the combos have been very small, but the, the matches have been fairly large. But yeah, we've got a, du a double verse battle come up here. This could be a little tester. Alright, probably what we need right now. Alright, just the one. That's actually bad, because when we fight these little guys, shinies, baddies, and all that, they're not very great in defense. <laughs> and we usually end up taking them all down in the first attack. But, um... Ugh. As I said, slow start. Hmm. Alright, we'll get the health back because we actually lost quite a lot. Funny thing, last stage was actually a no heart stage. And we struggled quite a lot, but we just but we just barely managed to get through it. And it was really cool. But yeah, these things are actually pretty tough now. Um I'm gonna leave it as that. It's probably worked out for us. I mean, the most simple move we make ends up to be our most um, punishing move. And there we go. We've got a few items like that. We've got a few chips. We've got an egg. And we've got another burst battle coming. Mega shiny chip, bubbly egg, mega baddie chip. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little slow today. Alright, nice. You literally have to rely on health boosts every turn. We're taking damage literally every turn. Uh, this is so not me. Okay. Another verse battle. Then we got the boss battle. Alright, kind of a, ew, a little bit of a tester for the first level. But yeah, I think I'll lose to you. Good luck. Paradox Trooper, here we go. Let the battle commence. Alright. Alright, I really do like your monsters though. Um But they don't like us. Uh let's see. Bam bam bam. Bam bam bam. Alright, what a nice water match in there. Um decent fire match. Decent combo. Alright, one down. Kind of one to go. I mean they both lost half of their health. Damn you guys. Alright, sweet. So yeah, moving on. It's been it's been a 
It's been a rough start. We've got to the end, we've got to the end. Because I was supposed to actually do a bit of grinding. Um, as you saw, we was kind of like over leveled at a certain point. Now we've come a little further into the game. We haven't grinded and it's definitely starting to affect us. I feel like I'm only at a good enough level to just about scrape through these levels. And, it, and it's definitely looking like that at the moment. I mean, we probably are a pretty decent level to get through this. But not convincingly. Then again, if I did perform a little better, probably would look a lot more simpler. But, um... We just gotta keep going, guys. We just gotta keep going. Alright, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Alright, cool. Ugh. This big guy here. I thought it was, that was gonna be enough. Alright, there we go. See you later. We just had this monster to evolve, but I actually ignored that. Because I thought the Black Knight was going to be cooler, so you went with that. I think it was cooler, to be honest. Then again, we don't really know what to expect from that monster when it evolves. But here is the boss battle. And uh, let's see what we have here. Alright, we got um, we got a few things here. The Zableon as well, which was mentioned at the start. We'll start things off with a... Guard Break. Break down that defense for three turns, and uh, we'll follow that up with a. She won't follow up just yet, and we only need to be aware of one of them. That's a light type, and um, he's going to attack in the next turn. All right, cool. A little bit of everything. All our all our three elements in there. We took no dark. We took no light. So we need to avoid those as much as possible. Water, fire, and wood doing their thing right there. Um. We'll bring some fire into the mix. And we'll... Yeah, I'll leave it as that. Alright, cool. It actually worked out pretty sweet. Five hit combo. Taken down another one of the monsters. This one is about to attack. But I think we're pretty much safe. Orb Blackout. Oh, I hate this move so much. Really clever move, but I really do hate it. Uh, we'll go Dragon's Law. No, not Dragon's Law. We'll go with a Mega Smash. I'm not really expecting much from this move, but we'll see. Yes, exactly. Exactly what I didn't expect much. Now, I was going to follow it up, but yeah, we'll kind of see where this leads us to. You just got to like, tap on everything so you know what's what. <laughs> we just go with the one simple wood match. Alright, definitely not what I was looking for. Do you know, we just need to like cover everything. But not like that, not like that. I thought we may as well take a risk, we are, we are um, pretty much done and dusted. Cool, and that could be enough. And there we go, alright, sweet. Moving on. Zableon chip. Oh yeah, because we actually we still have a Zableon at level 50. So if we actually get the tools to evolve this, that would be really, really sweet. Because um, it's like one of the star monsters you get. So I'm pretty much guessing it's difficult to come across the pieces you need. We probably do need to check out that machine which uh, throws a lot of junk at you, uh, random items. It does cost quite a lot in terms of defaults, but it's definitely worth um, checking out, so I probably will do that um, for the next episode. The Zab Shark, that could be what it evolves into. Now, was that team the best team to go with? Uh, I really don't know. We may actually go with that team again, but this time we'll switch out one water for a fire. And yes, that is the perfect team. We're going to go with this team here. Oh, we also have to... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Lamy, Lamy. Um, change this wood to it into heart orbs. Sometimes it's a savior. We'll go with that. But, yeah, with this uh, monster we, we're using here, it's the one I showed you earlier. Skill move is boost true dragon types. So, um, that's definitely going to help us in this temple, in this dungeon, on this level. All right, cool. And that's probably some of the signs there that it does help. Because that was only a simple combo and it definitely seemed a lot more power powerful than you would expect. Give me those chips, damn it. Um, which way do we want to go? Oh, it's Enigma. Uh, tenacious. Is she not monkey? Do you always have to creep up on us, Enigma? I mean, you come out of nowhere. It scares the living daylights out of me. Amy is tenacious. Is she not monkey? Are we time traveling or something? 
Hey, don't ignore me. We beat Amy. She's old news. True, but Amy is tenacious. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Amy was defeated, but she refuses to accept defeat. Is that defeat then? As long as she never accepts defeat, she will win in the end. I call that pig-headedness. Only time will tell what it is, and until then, Amy will keep telling herself one thing. I will win, I will win, I will win. Anyone who repeats such a mantra will raise their chances of ultimately being the winner. We could all learn from such tenacity. You and I both, monkey. You and I both. Okay, I kind of added that dialogue myself. It just seems fitting. But anyway, oh yes, time will tell. And it's time again to know that clock stopped 10,000 years ago. What? Is your clock broken or something? The Sky Dragon of Death, the Sky Dragon of Life, Dogma. And you, monkey. The gears of tail are falling into place. Of Tate, sorry. But the clock hasn't started ticking just yet, monkey. If you can defeat the tenacious Amy, you will become one of those gears. And then? Tick tock, tick tock. Alright Enigma, you're one confusing guy, seriously, but yes, definitely we should be careful of whatever's coming around the corner. And we'll take the left hand path here, it does lead us to a dragon stone I believe. Maybe the longest way, I'm not entirely sure, maybe they're both um, the same distance. But we'll see where this brings us to. Alright, I'm going to leave it as that because I kind of took myself back into a dead end. I don't really mean to do that, but that's one down. Oh yeah, cool thing is we brought our fire monsters, so burning breath is definitely going to be an awesome move to go with. I thought we may as well just use it now. All right, maybe not enough damage, but still. All right, cool. That should hopefully be enough. Yeah. Oh, that was close. That was close. Why don't you die? We're going to go with a simple match such as that. We'll keep our other orbs in place. Because I feel like these orbs are going to gonna serve us well in the next battle. Alright, moving on. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, that wood one fell right into place so perfectly. Everything fell into place so perfectly. when everyone is down and out that's what I mean about those little fellas there um we always seem to like take them down in one hit or at least two hits the last time um they survived us they survived damn it all right clear seven clear five in a group oh, okay intriguing all right what's well, the five in the group done now he's got a clear uh two more Simple as pie. There we go. Give me the dragon stone, damn it. Give me the dragon stone. Oh, uh, we've collected a bunch of bees now. Oh, I think this probably was the quicker route. Root? Why am I saying route? I sound like an American. But yeah, root. That's how we pronounce it here. Um. We'll leave it as that. Alright, cool. Probably the best choice. We've been. I don't know if it's been. An inspired tactical um, battle we've put through in this temple, but everything we seem to touch is just turned into gold right now. We're making some decent combos in terms of my skill level. Oh, this thing looks pretty. Ah, oh, so the Zab Shark, we definitely have seen that before. And we have this kind of weird thing here, like a, a dragon air kind of thing, but yeah. Um, we'll start with a guard break. And followed it up with no idea. Seriously, no idea. Oh my god. Where were we going there? Okay, okay, that kind of what see what I mean? Everything we touch turns to gold. But yes, that is ooh, almost one down, almost one down. We have to suffer some some attack here, the flurry of blows. Let me have it. Alright, cool. Not really that punishing. Uh Alright, nice. Alright, now we work on this beast. Still not ready to attack. Uh, do we have anything to, to like? Nah, we'll just go burning breath for now. Probably won't be the most punishing. I wouldn't expect it to be. Not at all. It was fire and water, but yeah. Um, 
Z orb, Z orb, Z orb. How shall we use you? Yeah, main focus was just getting that Z orb out there. We, I mean, we didn't really have much on. Worked out for us in the end. This could be enough. Yes, thanks to the Z orb, that was enough. And moving on to the second, the third. Okay, but we leveled up there really nice. Alright, cool. We're nearing the end, guys. We're nearing the end. The Dragonstone, the Mega Baddie Chip. And we have... This could be the last one. I'm not really sure yet. It surprises you a lot of the time. But yes, the Cavern of Twilight is where we're heading next. We have a new type of monster here, the Vanilla Gero. Uh, no idea what that is. We probably have come across it before because it's got the name there. It's no mystery monster. But uh, yeah, that team definitely suited us well. So we'll stick with that and we'll take... Okay, we don't even need the Aroma. Um... Change fire orbs into wood orbs. We'll go with that one. I and mean, we saw quite a few water, water time monsters there, so it should suit us well. Now it's one hell of a water combo, but not, not enough. Not enough. All right, the focus was in, was in the wrong place. Alright, fair start, fair start. Got a nice, another nice water move for the next, for our next turn. But then again, we have to choose which way we want to go. So we don't really want to adjust any of our ores. They're in a pretty decent place. Please don't be water orbs to go where we want to go. Alright, red. We just need to match the red. Uh, I want to match these reds down here. I like where there's water orbs in place. So we're going to leave those where they are. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Ah, light and dark. A pairing you don't really see too often. But yes. Ah oh, yes, beautiful. Now we've got the fire orbs in perfect place as well. Which we may have to use now. Or shall we use them now? You know, I have no idea. I'm hoping like this this uh, fire match is gonna be enough. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, not enough. We had to see all, but then again, we got no light, so whatever. And yeah, we'll go with that. We get a bit of health back. Alright, this definitely was the quickest route, so we got here really, really quickly. Now right, we could have made at least one more match there, uh, with the waters down below, in the bottom left-hand corner, but we kind of screwed that one up. Oh, we were like literally an inch off killing this guy. But he's fleed, so who cares? He's fleed. Wait, wait, did someone just level up? I, I missed that. Oh, I missed that. Oh, who you leveled up? I like to take note of this kind of stuff. It takes a long, long time to level up these days. Oh, yes, fire up. Um. I right, will sacrifice one of those matches there just to get the wood in there. Um, fire up should at least take down the wood type. Cool. And then we've got the Dancing Mermaid Lady again, who's such a beautiful monster in this game. Certainly one of my favourites. Just a shame we have not caught her yet. This could be our chance. Let's start praying, guys. We need to catch the mermaid. With a combo like that, we deserve this mermaid. Please come. Please. No! She's like literally impossible to get. And we leveled up again, 66. I saw that one, I saw that one. Alright, but here's the boss anyway. Is Amy around? No, but a paradox officer is. I am number one. Number one? Like you're the commander here? Nope. One is my membership number for Amy's fan club. Basically, you fancy Amy? Hang on. 
This sounds familiar. We met a guy who had a crush on Rivera too. That was my brother. We're from a family that's very open about our feelings. But he never told Rivera how he felt. Go forth, my fellow fan, fan club members. Blembers? Members? I mean, go forth, Chaos Devil Dragon. Chaos Devil Dragon, this thing sounds beast. But let's see for ourselves. Holy smokes, this thing is beast. Oh, so beautiful. All right, we definitely need to go with some stat boosts here. Um, would a water boost be okay? Raises attack of your water monsters slightly for one turn. We'll start things off with the guard break. We'll lower this um, his defense as usual. Oh shoot, look at our health. Very, very low. He is going to attack in three turns, so we've got a bit of breathing space here. Uh, we'll drop you down below. And yeah, we'll leave it as that. Cool. Alright, decent move, decent move. We get our health back, we've dealt some really awesome damage. And with Dragon's Law. And we'll probably follow that with Burning Breath as well. We may be able to wrap this one up within our next move. Maybe not this move, but like in our next orb match. Or whatever. And here we go. Let's give this a shot. Alright, I'm going to leave it as that. I was struggling to find Water Orbs, so yeah, we'll leave it as that. And that is going to be enough. And that will be the episode done and dusted, wrapped up. Until next time. We'll see what's going to go on first before next time. Alright, cool. No egg there. No surprise. We literally got nothing through that whole dungeon. But yeah, at least we completed it. Oh, we got a mega baddie egg. Alright, cool. Alright, I got Crush, Amy. I am your number. Your only number one. Wow, Paradox recruits some strange ones. Alright, moving on. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a bit of a tester. Um, they were speaking of these things such as death orbs. Which sounds super duper scary. And um, I kind of got a feeling of what to expect from those things death or maybe if you make a match with those you automatically lose that's just kind of my like wild guess but uh, thankfully we don't have to cross that bridge just yet it may actually pop up in the final continent we'll see um when the time comes but yes i see so amy has her admirers too hmm, these genius leaders and their doting troopers i have to admit i'm a tad jealous you're jealous of that lot what of course not anyway excellent work clearing out glow moss cave monkey Alright, any other words? But I'll have you know that I was dashing when I was a young man. Quite dashing indeed. Next mission, anyone? Anyone? And while you're at it, where's Sarah? Oh, excuse me, what about Sarah? She's moved on ahead to the next area already. You two will be heading out to the Count's Estate to... Rendezvous with her there. I definitely know how to say that, but it slipped my mind to... Yeah, <laughs> what he said. Right, so let's go. <laughs> oh god, let's go see what this so-called cat fellas place is like. Ren Do you know what? I have to look this one up for myself. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. Please be sure to show your appreciation as you have done so far in the series by hitting that thumbs up button. It really does help, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. See ya.